You've been contacting me, you've bought a used plasma table off a of marketplace, and you're trying to understand the programs that you need to use uh, to operate it. I'll give you a quick rundown of the programs that we use to operate our table. The main programs we use to draw in is Inkscape or QCAD. Um, Inkscape is probably the majority of the program that we use. It's pretty straightforward. I can't teach you how to draw anything. You can find all the information you need to draw anything here. But I will go over a couple things. One thing is once you draw something, let's say you drew this square. Now you added pieces to it, whatever it is. If you look down on the bottom, it says a rectangle in layer one, right? So this is not ready to cut yet. You cannot save this square to go cut it. You'll need to make it a path. It has to be a path. Shift control C is the way, is the shortcut, or you can just come up here and click object to path. Now this shape is gonna say path four nodes. So we know that this has four nodes and it is able to get cut out. You can alter nodes, you can do different things to make shapes. That's the basis. You need to learn how to draw in your program. The next program. Okay, so you drew your part and to take that part and you're gonna import it into uh, sheet cam. Sheet cam is your post processor. Sheet cam is what is going uh, to allow you to write the G code to cut out whatever you want to cut out. It also allows you to lay out all your parts. Um, as you can see, we've got a bunch of parts on this sheet here, but this is where all of that happens. But you have to make sure that you run post processor so that you can get the G code. You've ran a post processor and sheet cam, you have a G code, now it's time to go into your drive software. We use Halo, but you can use Mach 3, whatever drive software you have, you're gonna import, you're gonna import that drawing from sheet cam into your drive software. And whatever that file is, you're gonna click that file. Once that file's clicked, um, you're gonna locate it, you're gonna zero on the on your sheet wherever you wanna zero that part, and this is where you're gonna cut from. Your drive software is gonna read the G code that SheetCam wrote, and SheetCam is going to write the G code from the drawing that you made in your drawing software. I hope this kind of explains it. I know it's very basic, this is beginner stuff, but um, I'm trying to give you an idea of how it all works.